What's a physicist? I've answered that question. Am I a physicist? Well, I have superficially answered that question too, but perhaps it's a good idea to look into what this answer entails in more detail. Hi, my name's Alex. I've argued enough for a lifetime. In this series of videos, I zoom in on the perspective science can give you. I'll show you the playlist at the end, because nature's complex, science isn't. There's a video in the audio science playlist in which I tell you that it was quite the journey, quote unquote, for me to become a physicist. The actual quote is, I thought I might have screwed up again, quote end, after choosing physics as subject of study, not after this night. <laughs> that was another quote. I haven't told the story in detail, and I won't hear either out of respect for those with me then, but I'll do something similar to when that flat earther came into my science center. The dialogues themselves are fiction, the gist behind them isn't. So am I a physicist? Yes, I am. Here goes. What? That's how they're gonna start us off, I said to the world in general. Neither Kevin nor any of the others looked up. Of course. What do you mean? It's university stuff, what did you expect? He drew a Swiss army knife out of his pocket and sharpened his pencil. Don't tell me that you don't know how to do this, he said. Was it just me or did that study room get just a tad warmer and colder at the same time? Um, I started. We didn't do triple integrals often exactly, at school I mean. We rode the arrow of time in silence for a while. Here, finished, he said. That's the volume of a pyramid. Not that difficult. He was right, of course. I am now fully aware of him being right, yet to me it was difficult in that first week of my physics studies, and it bugged me that I was two years older than Kevin too. Really. Good for you, I said. He stood up and left. And then this happened. I went out for a walk around two minutes after Kevin had left, book bag and all. I went into the woods and I didn't care whether they heard me scream at the trees. This wasn't my first time trying to study something, you see. I had made another mistake, seemingly. I'd like to tell you that the trees helped. I went back, determined to fight and all that. It didn't, and I wasn't. I dragged myself through the calculation of a triple integral and a miserable first year in my second attempt at studying something. I passed everything, just about. Congrats, Kevin told me, a cup of coffee in his hand. Nice to see you get through. Thanks, I said still waiting for my drink. I mean, you don't really fit here, so that stuff must be tough to handle. Alex, the barista shouted. I went and got my coffee, watching Kevin walk away. What the f Pardon, the barista said. Oh, oh, nothing, sorry. By the time the next semester rolled around, they'd all be in different study groups. I was alone. It's tough being alone in physics, but it wasn't all bad, eventually. Let's go back to that audio science piece I mentioned. Quote, See, as I progressed through university, undisturbed by the naysayers, there were so many things that were just so weird that they started tickling my fancy. I mean, you know what I mean, right? Quote end. Perhaps you didn't know what I meant by that. See, none of the other 30 or so folks in my class seemed to want to join my approach to physics. Work to learn, not just to know. One thing I wondered about a lot was the idea of empty atoms, quote unquote. I had done so since my school days and now it turned up again in a quantum physics course which I hadn't been sure I wanted to take to start with. In fact, I only signed up for the course because the alternatives weren't really all that much better. You know, stuff like chemistry and other more experimental grease under the fingernails kind of stuff. And I would have had to take the quantum physics courses eventually anyway. So we're mostly empty space, quote unquote, as I put it in the other piece. Yet, quote again. Nobody can look through us. What's more, we touch things all the time, quote end. We're talking about something called quantum reflection and so-called image forces. And I was happy. But not so fast. Let's go back to the triple integral. Once I had found the volume of a generic pyramid, I realized that triple integrals aren't necessarily difficult because they're triple integrals, but because they have a tendency to take a lot of time, no matter what. They draw your patience thin on a summer's day, to put it like that. 
The same is true for differential equations, computational simulations and more or less all of physics in one way or another. You need to do stuff in order to learn about it. You need to fight through it and get your proverbial hands dirty after all. Honestly, thinking is all well and good, but sometimes you just gotta take that cup of coffee, sit down, do what you have to do and shut up. The other students all learned this approach, only much later in each at their own point in their studies. I mean, they all hit that very same wall eventually. Now, they still finished ahead of me in basically every measure, from the time it took them to graduate to their actual scores and all that. I'm fine with it too. Physics is like that, and I'm a physicist, whether you like it or not.